Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. As you guys know, I'm a firm believer of investing into what you use, products that you own. But right now, I got a special video for you guys. I'm currently overseas in Spain, and I'm seeing American companies that are actually thriving over here in seas. So it's gonna make me take a diver, a deeper dive into these companies to see if I wanna invest more money because you don't want to only invest into domestic companies that's just doing good inside the United States. Yes, some of those companies are doing great and are profitable, but you wanna have a diverse um, company that is doing well across all countries because the US market could crash, the economy could do bad, but overseas, uh, Pepsi could be selling out in Russia because as we all know, Pepsi outsells Coca-Cola in Russia. But like I said, you don't wanna just invest into companies that's just doing good inside of your own country. You wanna invest into companies that's doing good globally. So I'm gonna tell you guys what I see with my own two eyes, not what you're gonna Google on uh, what companies is doing good overseas. I'm telling you guys what I see actually selling off the shelves with my own two eyes over in Spain. So um, seeing these companies, whenever you travel, you wanna take a look at other companies that are doing good whenever you go on vacation just to see um, how it's doing pretty good over here. And let me take a deeper dive, a deeper look into these companies to see if I wanna invest my money. But before I dive into this video, if you guys would like to support this channel, go ahead and click the link down in the description to Weeble. Sign up now, deposit any amount of money and you get up to five free stocks valued up to $12,000 with the five free stocks. You could keep them inside the platform and decide to use it. Or you could sell those five free stocks and withdraw all of your money, guys, it's literally free money. Also, I left a link in the description to Moomoo, Moo, six free stocks if you deposit $100, um, valued up to $12,000. Once again, you could do the same thing. It's free money if you'd like to support this channel. Check out those links down in the description. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back, dreamers. And the first company I'm gonna bring you guys is Starbucks. Now, Starbucks is on every corner in every city in America, and it's the exact same thing over here in Spain. I see Starbucks in the airport. I see them on every corner, even over here in Marabella, Spain. Now, that is a good indicator, a good signal that you wanna look for companies that's just not doing good, that's doing good and that you live in domestically, but you also wanna look for companies that are having success outside of your country internationally and also globally. So Starbucks bus has that same type of impact on coffee even overseas here in Spain. So I'm going to add Starbucks to my list. In fact, they had a big pullback. So I'll be getting in at a great price. I'm going to do a little bit more research on them when I get back home because this is a, co this is a company that I've always been wanting to add to my portfolio and seeing them thrive overseas is actually me leaning more heavily towards and actually um, starting to invest and buy shares inside of that company. The second company is Ford. Now Ford actually had 28% of their sales over here in Europe. So yes, even automobile companies, you wanna actually diversify your portfolio and not just stick in consumer goods. But the automotive industry over here in Europe with Ford actually having around 30% of their sales being sold in Europe is a good indicator and a good way to diversify your portfolio. And actually Ford actually has a pretty sweet dividend right now. So if you are chasing dividends, Ford is one that you wanna add to your portfolio as well. I'm telling you guys, that's just what I see on the streets. This is not me doing research on Google. I'm just giving you guys, don't take this as professional advice. I'm just telling you guys what I see. So when you're going on vacations, when you're traveling, you actually wanna look at other companies out there that's having some success. Take that home, take that knowledge home and invest inside those companies. The third and fourth company is Coca-Cola and PepsiCo. When we went to the grocery store, I didn't recognize anything on the shelves, but when you come across Coke and Pepsi, they're actually selling pretty well over here in Europe. Um, the brand PepsiCo has so many different companies inside of their portfolio, like Lay's Potato Chips, um, all the Frito-Lay companies, so Doritos, Starbucks Ready to Drink Coffee, Quaker Oats, all of these companies were in plain sight. So if there's a hundred bags of chips on the aisle, you wouldn't recognize any of them in English, but you always gonna recognize Frito-Lay, Lay's, Doritos, Hot Chips, everything like that inside of the Pepsi brand. So if I had to choose between Coca-Cola and Pepsi, um, and actually, I think that Pepsi is doing a little better and actually Pepsi are now about to be dividend kings. That means they have increased their dividends every single year for the last 50 years. So if you're looking to chase dividends and retire off of your dividends and don't have to worry about your dividends being cut, 
uh, Pepsi is the way to go. Also, Coca-Cola is already dividend kings. They have been increasing their dividends for the last 60-ish years. I'm, I don't know exactly what it is. I'll leave it right here. But both of these companies are doing well. But when it comes to the overall company, I like PepsiCo just a tad bit better. The next company is Uber. Yes, we use Uber and Lyft all the time in other cities back in the United States. But over here, Uber is I don't even think Lyft is available over here in Spain, but Uber is. Every country I go to, either um, they don't allow Uber and you have to use their taxis, but when they do allow Uber, it's usually Uber and not Lyft. So I've been using Uber the whole time I've been over here. I'm a firm believer of investing into companies that you actually use. I use Uber when I'm back in the States, and I'm also using Uber as my first uh, form of transportation overseas. We didn't rent a car. We're using Uber to get around from place to place. So um, pretty much every tourist over here is also using Uber. So that is another company that I need to add to my watch list to do a little bit more investigating on for when I get back to the United States on how much I'm willing to invest inside of these companies. The next one is Amazon. Yes, I still see the Amazon trucks, the Amazon Prime trucks delivering packages out here. Amazon is a massive, probably one of the world's largest companies in the world. And even over here in Spain, they're still having their Amazon Prime and two day delivery somehow. I know it's not like that in every country, but I'm still seeing Amazon trucks everywhere on every street over here. So of course I'm already invested to Amazon, but this is just reassuring me that if I see the companies I'm investing into doing well globally, then I know that my money is out there working for me. And the last company, probably the one that all of you guys have all have all used before and ate there before is McDonald's. McDonald's is, is on every continent, even on Antarctica. I think they might be on Antarctica. I highly doubt it. They might not be on Antarctica, but they're on every continent in the world that people live. There's a McDonald's on every block, and that's the same thing over here. Don't be surprised. Um, McDonald's is not inside my portfolio yet, but it's a no-brainer that I need to have McDonald's inside of my portfolio, even if it's just one, two, or three shares. Um, this company, you can't walk a block in any country, in any city, without saying that McDonald's, the Golden Arch. So I'm probably gonna add, I'm for sure gonna add McDonald's to my portfolio when I get back um, to the United States. And that's it, Dreamers. This video is basically just to show you guys that don't just look for only in America type companies. You wanna look for companies that are doing uh, well globally because uh, as you guys can see, if the economy in America crashes, then most of those stocks are gonna crash as well. You wanna have a little bit of security just in case that happens that um, your, the companies that you're investing in could still do well overseas. But if you do want to help out this channel, check out those links down in the comment section. Get your five free stocks with Weeble. Get your free stocks with Moomoo. That is by far the easiest way to get started. And also, if you want to support even further, you could join the Patreon down below. That will give you exclusive access to my portfolio and every time I buy and sell stocks. So if you want to check that out, that link is going to be pinned in the comment section. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show. I'm out. Peace.